San Diego City Council is moving forward with its approval process for the Police Oversight Commission, but some activists fear not much will change in policing. CBS 8's LaMonica Peters talks to an activist who helped draft the amendments and tells us how City Council is responding to new criticism. Community activists wanted an ordinance that would hold police more accountable, but on Monday, the City Council moved forward with its approval process without including their suggestions. San Diego City Council is now in the process of approving an ordinance under Measure B, which created the Commission on Police Practices. San Diegans for Justice say they were disappointed when City Council chose not to include amendments that could create more transparency. The Commission um, has historically had a very difficult time getting all the documents that it needs to do uh, an adequate analysis of an event. And um, we think that um, allowing the police chief to just withhold any document that he sees fit based on his own opinion is going to continue that problem rather than correct it. St. Julian also says they wanted an amendment that would allow more community input when deciding who serves on the commission. This is a community-led commission, and so the community should have some formal role in deciding who's going to be the commission. But Council President Pro Tem Monica Montgomery Stepp says community members can nominate people for the commission, but the city's charter stipulates who serves. But in the chart, this is consistent with the charter language that we all agreed on. It is part of the council delegate, delegation of power to choose who serves on these boards and commissions. 25 people, including nine community members at large, will have a seat on the commission. As for the police chief's power to withhold records, Montgomery Stepp says city council has to follow rules already in place. San Diego City Charter Section 57 that gives the chief authority over all records. And so when we crafted this, we had to, you know, make provisions for that, which was already established in law. The San Diego Police Union will also weigh in on the ordinance, and then the city council will hold a final vote for approval.